For those of you wondering what's wrong with me today, I know you guys will mostly be girls, but I went a little overboard on the bronze highlighter. I decided to just put it literally all over my face, so if you see anything off, or if I'm shining really brightly or look like I'm super sweaty, that's the reason. Experimentation is key. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Welcome to the Friday Community Show, Friday Night Mail. Today we're gonna be giving away some shit, answering you guys' questions, and opening some packages. Before we start, let's show you what packages I have. I kinda like to do this, I'm gonna start doing this, because it lets you guys know what you're in for, how long you're gonna have to sit through me opening packages, which is my favorite part, but might not be you guys's. This is something we have. This is something we have. Two bags, three bags, a box from Sean Black, and a bag box. So three bags, a box, and a bag box. Let's go ahead and answer your questions. And yes, before you ask, pff, pff, I am always trying new hairstyles and I decided to do like a mini French braid thing on the top that I just fluffed up to hell and a ponytail. I don't like my hair up, but I know a lot of you guys do and I like to switch it up, so why not? The first question comes from Savannah Gibson. Question, what do you think of DD slash LG? Would you try it? Love your channel, by the way, hearts. Thank you, Savannah, cool spelling of your name. So, DD slash LG, if you guys don't know, is daddy, I don't know what the second D is for, maybe like daddy domination or something, slash little girl. Oh, I can't stand having glossy lips anymore. Anyway, so this is basically a fetish where you pretend like there's a daddy dominator and you are a little girl and you're like, oh no, please don't punish me, I'm a little girl, type of thing. For me, there's a huge disconnect there between sexuality and acting like I'm having sex or doing sexual things with my family members. Some people are completely fine with that and I'm not saying that everyone who's into this kind of role play or anyone who calls their dude daddy in bed has subsequently in any way been involved in or okay with incestuous relationships, like actual incestuous relationships. Just for me, I can't separate the two. It's very weird to me. I don't call guys daddy in bed or poppy or anything like that. And I'm not really into the daddy little girl domination thing. It's just not me. I do like taking the whole familial aspect out of it and the whole like helpless aspect out of it. Well, at least more helpless than I am. And I love being dominated by a guy who actually has the stature and strength to dominate me. The whole domination rape strong man big man fetish that I have probably wouldn't work with a guy who's really short and really tiny. It's not an act to me, it's more like I'm actually seeing someone dominate me who has the power to dominate me. Hope that answers your question. I have nothing against anyone who has this fetish or who is into it and as I said, it has nothing to do. Fucking shut up, computer. It has nothing to do with actual incest. It's just something to me that rubs me the wrong way. And I know a lot of girls who call their male significant others daddy in bed or poppy. Completely fine if you do that, I just don't. Moving on to the next question. My phone's fallen asleep because it's at low battery. Surprise, surprise. Valentinus asks, why did you not pursue a further education? You are clearly intelligent. Okay, so I know this is gonna rub a lot of people the wrong way, but I think in today's society, in this day and age, in the US, it's kind of stupid to go for further education, higher education. Not only do universities seem to be rampant with social justice, but it's just a bad return on investment when most companies really just want you to have experience and an education. I don't know how the job market is anymore because Jay's not currently looking for a job, but back when he was, having two master's degrees and a bachelor's in networking, electronic engineering, and in business project management. It was very hard for him to find a job and he was just sitting there with a ton of debt. However, I do feel like there is a demographic of people, a lot of people actually, that would not be able to succeed and further themselves in the workforce or in a job or career of any kind without higher education and having that diploma. But as far as intelligence, I know a lot of really stupid people who have degrees. I think intelligence should not be conflated with a higher education or any kind of formal education because you can definitely educate yourself and the people who are intelligent enough and have the drive enough to learn more, they're gonna do so on their own whether or not they have formal education. I know a lot about a lot of things and I'm really good at a lot of things and most of those things I'm self-taught in. When I want to learn about something, I don't usually want to learn it from a textbook or from some guy who's gonna try to indoctrinate me with his own perspective. And if you went to college and college worked out for you and everything's great, more power to you. I want you all to be happy and follow your own paths that work for you. For me, higher education was gonna be something that I was forced to do. If I needed it for qualifications for some kind of job, it would not be something that I enjoy. Structured schooling is really awful for me. I just sit there in class and wait and then go home and teach myself all the curriculum. So yeah, also thank you for the compliment of saying that I'm 
clearly intelligent. I appreciate that. Next, Warmongers Inc. What's up? By the way, I got your email and I haven't had time to reply to it. I'm so sorry I didn't get you the intro, but I'll get it to you soon. Anyway, he says, Tara, what do you do to make your teeth so white? Professional whitening or something you did at home? I know, odd question, but I wanted to ask you this for a long time. You are a few years older than me, and I sure can tell as someone who is brushing his teeth like three times a day, that won't make them shiny. And I doubt you were eating plants and leaves for over 20 plus years, lol. I am a vegetarian, but that has nothing to do with it. I naturally have pretty white teeth. What I have done to make my teeth better is my two front teeth are actually veneers, well, more accurately, crowns. I broke them when I was younger and then I had composite buildup on there for a while, which is basically just like them trying to ghettoly recreate my teeth. And then because I had a root canal in one of the teeth that I broke off, it started to yellow. So for a while I had like one yellowish brownish tooth which you can see in my older, older videos in some lights only. But throughout that whole time where the rest of my teeth were super white, I didn't do anything, it's just natural. I did, however, when I went in to get my crowns, I got my teeth whitened as white as I possibly could get them. And the guy was telling me how he's not quite sure if I can get the Hollywood white, but I was able to do it. Apparently it's a genetics thing. There are a lot of people that have naturally really yellow teeth or just like an off whitish color. It all has to do with you and your teeth, but I can attest to the fact that any of those strips or things that you can buy at the grocery store are not gonna work, at least in a tangible way. Might make a slight difference or help you maintain something you did at the dentist. But I think the best way to go is to follow one of those systems that you see posted on Instagram. Personally, I used opalescence, but opalescence is a thing where you go to the doctor and you get it administered for like 30 minutes and it actually can make your teeth really sensitive and kind of hurt. It's like really strong. And then they give you these little syringes and they mold a mouth plate for you and they send you home with that so you can maintain it. As I said, I haven't been maintaining it very much, but if you want to try, you can buy opalescence, little injectable things, and then just get a mouth tray and try to do it at home. Hope that helps. All right, guys, the winner of this week's giveaway is Dr. Pork Chops, AKA Matt. Congratulations, Dr. Pork Chops, yay! Dr. Pork Chops wanted an autograph, eight by 10, which I'm gonna send to him probably tomorrow or the next day. Or maybe I'll wait until I send out the batch of Patreon autographed images, not sure yet. But thank you so much, Dr. Pork Chops. Your support means everything to me, especially your awesome art images. Here are a few. He's a badass, I'm glad he won. And no, I did not cheat, it's automatically chosen. All right, if you guys wanna sign up for this week's giveaway, you can get an autographed eight by 10, a merch item of your choice, or a Steam game of your choice. All you have to do is click the link in the description, it'll be at the top saying like, FNM giveaway, colon. You just click that link that's after the colon, follow the instructions, get your entry. Let's move on, let's open some packages. The first thing we're gonna be opening is this. This, I'm hyper now all of a sudden. I had a headache and then I took a headache pill and now I'm feeling good. And the disparity between feeling like shit and starting to feel good, oh, it's so nice. Opening this, oh my God, no way. <gasps> this is the one ring bikini, isn't it? Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so I am putting a bunch of bikinis on my wish list and I actually bought myself a bunch of bikinis that are nerdy. And this is a one ring, one piece bikini. We have to put this on, like we have to, we can't not put this on. I am. Wearing my compression garment right now, which sucks because then I can't show off my actual ass. But we have to at least put this on over my bra. We have to do it. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. I love it so much. It's amazing. It's absolutely everything I wanted it to be and more. I can't wait to do the try on video of all of these bikinis, but they're so fucking awesome. I cannot wait to show you. I would take off my bra for this, but it would require me taking off my compression garment and then it'll be awkward, but whatever. We're gonna wear this for the rest of the video because it's fucking awesome. There can only be one. Oh yes. Ah. This makes a good thumbnail almost. There we go. Oh yeah. Moving on, we've got this package. By the way, thank you so much whoever sent this to me. Came from Japan or China, so I don't know who sent it. But thank you, post in the comments. I'll know if you're lying, but post in the comments if you. Oh, no way. Oh, no way, guys, no way. We might have to take off the compression garment for this one. Oh. Hi, Tara, I really love your channel and the content you make. This is my first time ever sending someone a gift. I popped your cherry, oh my God. I hope you like this gift and I hope to see you wear this during Fan Service Friday. Stay beautiful from Tiffany. <gasps> Tiffany! You guys know what this is, right? Not only is it my next Fan Service Friday, it is the motherfucking, the motherfucking virgin killer sweater. Oh my God, we're gonna have some fun with this. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have some fucking fun with this. I'm so excited. I'm like, I am so hyped for this. This is gonna be so sick. Oh my God, this is perfect. 
I cannot wait. Can you guys wait? Because I cannot wait. I am gonna save this for my patrons. If you guys wanna support me on Patreon, my ad revenue is now $3 a day. So if you guys wanna support on Patreon, I would appreciate it. Also, fucking virgin killer sweater for the next fan service Friday. That's next week on Friday. I also posted this week's fan service Friday tease, which is the in-between week. So if you guys wanna check it out. Oh, and I also have a subscriber option on VidMe. VidMe is fucking awesome. It allows you to subscribe or to tip specific videos. So if you guys wanna check that out. Are my tits flopping out? Are my tits, my pendulous tits just like <laughs> flopping? <laughs> Guys, guys, I really appreciate this. Thank you, Tiffany. This is gonna be so fucking sick. Oh, I just recently heard about this too. I had no idea that this was like a weeb thing, but I am so hyped to see my ass crack. Use it as a towel for all the jizz I'm gonna procure while wearing it. Let's do this. Wow. I swear I'm not on any actual illicit drugs. It's just, I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna play Don't Starve together together with my friends after this, which is one of my favorite activities right now. Like literally, I used to dislike that game. Well, I thought it was really cute, but I used to think that it was really pointless as well because like I didn't know how to play it very well, but now it's like everything and amazing. What is this? Oh, we got more owl leggings. Is this more owl leggings? These are really soft. They look a lot like the other owl leggings. Did Zoe get me these? These are so fucking stretchy too. Oh, I have to put these on, I'm sorry. Put the legging, oh my God, yes. Six pairs of clothing, and I still don't have a butt, or I now don't have a butt because I got wrecked. Whoever got me these, you're a fucking badass. These are so cute. L let me show you and Vlad how there's like an owl staring up at me. It's like, oh my God, it's so adorable. Look at this owl just staring up at me. It's like, who, who are you, who? Oh my God, I love owls so much. Thank you. Oh, oh, there's another one by my, oh. There's two baby owls actually in my puss. And then one up here, I didn't even notice. Oh, so good. Thank you so fucking much. Oh. oh, guys, don't forget yesterday's video. I'm giving away some Tara Babcock merch. I'm giving away three sets. That's four. Three sets, so you should check that out. Sign up, it's free, of course. And we've got something from Sean Black. I don't, I still don't have a, oh. All right, guys, I found one. I think Jay fucking stole it from me. Let's restart this. Oh, actually it's at 20. I usually restart it near 30 because it'll stop itself at 30 and then I'll re realize that I'm not fucking filming and I'll like murder everyone. Ooh, Nintendo Switch Afterglow level one chat communicator. Holy shit. In which games do you need this? Do you, are there like Call of Duty style games or like Overwatch? style games on the Switch? Or can I use these as just headphones for the Switch as well? Well, obviously I can use any headphones for the Switch, but thank you, dude, this is awesome. This is like a hugely unexpected gift. Oh, it's like a legit one ear headset. Let's see what it looks like on me. I'm gonna look like diva or something. Oh, shit, girl. Calling all units, my titties out. How did this even happen? There we go. Like when it creases like that, there's like a shadow right next to it and everyone always thinks it's my nipple, but my nipples, here and then the areola is like wah, wah, wah. anyway <laughs> this is pretty fucking cool oh yes i like it it's comfy do not return the product where you purchased it from if you have questions setting up this product or experiencing any issues contact pdp customer service pussy double penetration all right moving on i don't know what this is this is like nothing there's nothing in here how do i open this properly oh this is the thing i bought jay i actually uh tried to it's been so long since i bought it i bought it in like january so i tried to put like a, a stop payment on it but now i'm gonna have to contact my uh credit card company i actually bought this for jay you have to see it uh jay's favorite game of all time of all time is final fantasy 7. this is an amazing thing by the way oh my god i'm so excited to get this out i'm sad that i told him about it i told I told him about it because um, I, I needed to call the credit card company and like I just tell him like you're not gonna get this cool thing that I bought for you. But oh my god, this is so cool. I can't wait to put this up in our new house. This is a working Final Fantasy VII clock with Sephiroth sticking the Manamune through fucking cloud and it's made out of an old vinyl record. How fucking cool is this thing? I absolutely adore it. I saw it and immediately bought it for Jay. It was like 60 bucks or something, 40 bucks, I'm not sure. But oh my God, this is gonna look so good on the wall of our new place. Like, oh my God, guys, I just realized. Well, Jay realized. It says Final Fantasy VI. What the fuck? And I was 100% sure that when I bought it, it said seven. So I checked 
And it does. This place, I don't, I don't recommend them, by the way. Like, they took literally four or five months to send this out to me, and then they said it was a finalized thing right away. Like, this is so cool. But the fact that it says six, it's just awful. Why? Also, this is paper. And in here, doesn't it look like it's not paper? I don't know if you can see through Vlad, but it's novelty fire, if you guys want to go look at it. I'm pissed that it says six. Jay, I'm pissed. Jay, mm. I bought this for Jay and now I feel like a failure. Oh my God, how do I make it start? Oh, I need to put like one battery in it. How fucking cool, this is like a really fucking cool gift, right? Like I saw this and I was like, for Jay. Also, I cannot wait for the remake. Jay and I are actually gonna play the original before the remake again, which will be my like third time playing it and his like seventh time playing it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry if I was a little bit obnoxious or annoying. When I get hyper, some people accuse me of being fake or being put on, but I have these moods. I have the chill, let's talk about my life do whatever mood. I have the raging game mood and I'm always animated like this. It's just something I enjoy and who I am. Today, if I felt hyper and wanted to be ridiculous and over the top, I decided to do it because fuck it, right? And if I felt like showing off my tits or being like, woo, and engaging in some kind of fan service, so be it. It's something I wanted to do. I would never do anything and I would never expect anyone else to do anything that goes against their morals. Morals are in fact subjective, so there's no reason for anyone to push their personal beliefs on anyone else else. Just enjoy your life, do what you want, and strive for goals and reach those fucking goals of your own volition. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video, which should be on Monday, I think. And I'll see you on stream, twitch.tv slash Babcock. All of my other links will be in the description, as well as the link to the giveaway. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my bronzed face. I want to learn how to do the bronze goddess look. A few people on Discord have been showing me these bronze goddess pictures, and oh, so sexy. All right, just a little bit more fan service. Bye guys, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. I can't believe I have a virgin killer sweater.